got some wild California quail from this past hunting season. I've been meaning to cook it up. So I'm going to show you guys how I cook my quail and how I cook some wild game. So I've got two whole quails and then I've got one quail breast. So I'm going to take them, out, take them out of the package, take a look at them and season them up. I'm going to pat them dry, get them all dry first. You can see this quail is missing a leg here. Must have lost that when I was out hunting. All right, so I've got my quail cleaned up here. I'm gonna season it with this natural chickalicka bam bam bird rub. All right, now that we got our quail seasoned, we got, we're gonna get our pan nice and hot. I'm gonna be doing a butter and rosemary blend here to cook the, the quail in. So we'll get that pan nice and hot and then check back in with you. So I got a good amount of butter here. I'm gonna plop it in the pan, get my pan nice and greased. Rosemary going. I'm going to take the excess butter, I'm going to cut it up and put it inside of the quail cavity. I'm going to cut that butter, put it in half, put it inside the quail. Alright, the pan's getting nice and hot now. Gotta put the quail in here. I'm gonna even stick some rosemary in the cavity. A little extra butter. Alright, we're going to be checking the temp. We're at 150. I think I want 165. This is definitely done. Alright, so I'm going to take these two pieces off and cook this one just a little bit longer. Alright, so we've got the wild California quail and some wild rice here. It looks beautiful, my first time cooking quail, the right way at least. I've got two whole ones and a breast. See how the rice is. Mmm, very good. But what we've been waiting for, the quail. Meat looks really moist. See how it tastes. Tastes really good, it tastes really soft. Nice soft white meat. I can really taste the, the rosemary. Mm. Really happy with how this turned out. Well, there you have it guys, that's how you cook California quail, wild game. Tastes amazing, with just a little bit of effort you can make a really excellent meal. Um, I think next year I'd love to save some up and do a nice Thanksgiving or Christmas meal. 
just the old traditional way. It's amazing. Stay tuned for my videos coming up, guys, and thanks for following along my channel.